you know why we're here today. You read the title, you came because you want to hear what the hell I got to say about this. Let me take a drink because I'm parched. Let's just get right into it. First of all, hey, did you miss me? Because, I mean, you know what? Girl, if you're feeling how I'm feeling, you don't even care. So, let me tell you something. I, I think periods are ridiculous. I think they are unnecessary. Um... I don't think that um, my body had to go through this just to tell me I'm not pregnant, just to clean me out a little bit. A letter in the mail telling me, hey girl, you're not pregnant this month, good for you. A letter in the mail would have been sufficient. Why do I have to cramp? Why do I have to have mood swings? Why do I have to have hot flashes? Why do I have to be extremely sweaty? One minute I'm hot, one minute I'm cold. One minute I'm drenched, one minute I'm dry. Why? Hello, God. Okay, he don't want to he don't want to listen to me. He don't want to answer me today. So, let me just go ahead and share what I think. Periods are ridiculous. Um I hate them. But um, it is what it is. <laughs> we got to go through it. So I just want to say, um, first of all, excuse me. I woke up and I said, you know what? I'm feeling it today. So let me just go ahead and make the video because I'm feeling intense. Like this topic has been a topic I definitely think needs to be talked about because some people are just like, when this time of the month happened, it's just like, hell. And I agree. First of all, learn your body, okay? During this time, it is important that you know how your body, how you are during this time. Last month, um, last month, I realized that when my period is about to come, I literally feel the change. I start having a, I start having symptoms a week before my period. The week before my period is awful. Um, I'm emotional. Um, I'm irrational. I'm impatient. Um, really vulnerable, and I feel like during that time, the devil knows when to strike. Okay. Now my period, I'm not saying it's the devil, but I'm saying that the devil sees me at my weakest point and he really be trying me during that time. So last month when I came to that revelation, I said, ooh, moving forward, I'm going to have to learn how to be better during this time so this time isn't controlling my month, you know. So um, I wrote in my diary last month, I wrote in my little diary, I wrote down what I was feeling, what I was thinking, you know, making myself laugh, you know what I do. So, um, I said, you know what, next month is going to be different. So, that's this month right now. I was able to, I really sat myself down and started to realize um, my symptoms the week before my period, how I feel, um, what I like to do, what I don't like to do during this time, what's going on with my body during this time and all of that. Please learn yourself. Please learn um, what's going to be triggering for you, what um, what you can and can't do during this time because when your body is going through this type of distress, baby, you don't want to do nothing. I don't know about you, but me, I don't even eat. I'm saying my appetite is altered. Everything is just altered, but this time around, um, I will say since I am more aware of what my body goes through, I'm more able to adapt, okay? So, let me just go ahead and keep it a buck with you because you need to be doing this, okay? Your period comes, 
it's inevitable unless you got um unless you older and you um you don't have periods anymore or any other reason why you don't have periods if you don't have periods anymore this is not for you if you don't have periods this is not for you we don't want to talk to you you already think you will leave because you don't have to go through what we go through anymore you know what i'm actually jealous that you don't have periods no more because i don't want to miss me okay no <laughs> let me tell you so okay i'm on birth control I'm on birth control. I got on birth control for the simple fact that my periods was awful before this. And obviously, it's birth control. Um, there's not a controversy here. Okay. You don't have to be on birth control. I'm not telling you to be on birth control. If you want to be on birth control, you need to look up, research about birth control. And you just need to take your journey through birth control. Uh, me, this is my story. This is me. I've been on birth control, I want to say, for three years now, and my periods um, aren't as bad as they used to be, so that really has helped, and um, yeah, I have not been off of birth control. I'm very consistent with the things with my body because I don't, you know... You know, yeah. So I'm on birth control. I got on birth control because, um, like I said, my periods before this was awful. I remember my first period. I was in the seventh grade. And, girl, I couldn't even breathe. I'm saying I couldn't even see right. I couldn't even think right. It was the worst feeling I ever felt. And I said, when I first seen I said, ooh. What's crazy is the week before, I was thinking, like, I wonder if I'm ever going to get a period. And then the week later, I had my first one. And I was just like, ooh, child. And I told my mom. And she said, oh, yeah, you definitely started. All right? This is what you, this is how it goes. Whatever, whatever. So, yeah. So, anyways, let's get right to it. I keep telling y'all this, but I, I got to lead y'all up to it. Um, So, a week before my period. Okay? So, like I said, I'm on birth control. This is what I'm on. Okay. So, as you can see, this is the last week this is the sugar pill the placebo whatever you want to call it um once i'm in this week though this week i'm able to realize when i hit this week this week i'm like okay yep symptoms are about to start coming let me start preparing okay so wednesday today is a wednesday and a week that went a week before so last wednesday is when i was like really realizing okay it's a week before my period this is why you're upset right now this is why you're so anxious this is why you're impatient this is why it's just like oh child and then also another big um indicator that i'm about to start my period is my acne this is what i'm saying learn your body so you know when you're when you break out because when you learn your bodies you're able to just know what is what you really is. I think so. Um, yeah, girl, I had to come on here with my bonnet and head wrap because I'm about to get back in bed. I can't even do it today. I might do a little a discussion post for my homework, but girl, my stomach is on 10. When I say on 10, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm being so serious. <laughs> Y'all think I'm playing and I'm not playing. I'm trying not to laugh because I play too much, but I'm being so serious right now. This is horrific. Oh my gosh. Y'all, if I was at work right now, I would leave. Like, no, I'm not staying here when I can't breathe. I'm not staying here when I can't walk. I'm not staying here because this is horrible. Like, I don't feel like I should have to go through this. Like, God, I thought I was your favorite. Like, come on. Take this away ASAP. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, so, girl, I'm just, let me just tell y'all. So, okay. When I start seeing me break out right here, I'm like, oh okay so my period about to be on this way i do not break out unless i'm using a product that, um, can i speak 
unless I'm using a product that shouldn't be on my body but I've been you know being very consistent with my skincare I will keep y'all up to date on that and let y'all know what's up with that but that's not the point when I start breaking out right here oh baby it's a wrap period's coming and that's just that um I haven't got a little skincare routine specifically for this time but it is what it is it goes away that's not the problem here I don't care about this little pimple there's two little pimples little whatever I don't care about that I care about being able to walk to the kitchen without passing out I care about getting a good night's rest without feeling daggers in my stomach this is real y'all period suck okay for the pain this is what my advice for the pain I don't have none I don't take I don't take um Tylenol or ibuprofen unless I absolutely need it unless I'm just like if I was to be at work right now and I really wanted to finish the day I would take a Tylenol or ibuprofen um if I had like other things to do um I would take one but since I we're in a pandemic I'm at home I'm able to be in the comfort of my bed and just chill um, I'm not going to take an ibuprofen or a Tylenol. The pain just comes and goes. And when it comes, oh baby, it needs to go. So, um, if you, if the pain is just unbearable for you, please take Tylenol, ibuprofen. When I was younger, Tylenol, ibuprofen was my best friend, baby. I'm saying I had that in my backpack like it was nothing. And I used to tell my teachers, uh-uh, I can't do no work right now because I'm cramping. And I need to go take my medicine because this right here is overrated. Overrated. Oh, nah. <laughs> y'all got to know that video. If y'all know that video, okay. But anyways, so I, I, ibuprofen, Tylenol. I know some people use like heating pads and stuff like that, but I do not. I literally just lay down. I lay down and I watch my favorite show. I take my mind off of the pain that I'm feeling. And I'm just, honestly, I hate that I have to feel this, but it is what it is. I'd rather go through this than to be raising a kid. Did I say that? I did say it. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm childish enough. So me with a kid, oh baby, my kid gonna be running rampant, okay? Cause I'm not gonna discipline my kid. My kid gonna get to do whatever he wanted to. So that's why I'm on this floor. Go ahead and see me the little period because I'd rather deal with this period than a, ch a kid because woo, uh, my kid gonna be a mess. But okay, we ain't worried about the kids right now. We ain't having babies right now. Okay, so um, so just lay down, distract yourself from the from the um from the fact that you're dying. Not literally, but okay. Um, when you give, when you give the pain so much thought, I feel like it consumes you more. So try not to think about it. Like, don't think about it. Think about everything else but that. Like, cause the pain just comes and go like right now I feel the pain, but since it's just like, I'm not going to sit here and dwell on the pain. It's not overpowering me. So just try to not think about it and it's hard to do, but you can do it. I'm trying to tell you, you really can. Um, other tips, eat, eat whatever you want. My appetite really slows down during this time, so it's hard for me to eat like um, real food. But baby, do I snack? Absolutely. If you know me, you know I love to snack. I love little sweets. I don't care. I like sugar. But you got to still during this time, like me, I try to minimize everything like unhealthy for me, but I still indulge. I still eat sweets and everything that I want to eat. I, I'm not about to put these huge stipulations on my life. No, baby. I'm here to live. I'm here for a little bit of time, not a long time. So therefore, I'm going to eat whatever I want, when I want, how I want, because I can do what I want. So anyways, eat whatever you want. Eat your sugar, eat your Oreos, eat your whole pack of cookies, do whatever you want. But still make sure you implement your fruits and vegetables. Like, it's hard for me during this time to implement anything that's really um, beneficial to my body. So, 
I'm still learning like new routines to try to practice so I can make sure that I'm serving my body and doing what it needs to. But baby, my body is telling me it won't a uh, um, turtle, a chocolate turtle, then I'm going to get a chocolate turtle. If my body is telling me it want a salad, I'm going to eat a salad. I'm not giving my body what it don't want. Because I throw up. I, I, I can't force myself to eat. No, I cannot. I can't force myself to eat. If I'm not hungry, I'm not going to eat. So during this time, I just try to eat snacks, try to eat like little healthy things. Like for me, I eat um, like Nutri-Grain bars um, and a Chubani. And I'll probably drink and eat that. Eat, eat it um, probably... Um, I'll probably eat it whenever I feel get hungry and then I probably won't eat for the rest of the day. So I only eat like once a day during my period and it's really terrible, but I just know it's for a little bit, a little bit of time. So I try not to really trip about it, but, um, eat whatever you want, but make sure you're eating. Try to, but if you're not hungry, you're not hungry. Um, other tips, workout, working out, exercising can really help with the pain. Um, I remember when I was younger, when I was in school, um, my periods wasn't that bad because I was always active. I was on the cheer team. I used to walk from the bus stop. So I was always active. So my periods, my cramps wasn't that bad. So be active. If you can't be active, baby, don't be active. Lay down, take a break, take a breather, relax. It's okay. But I'm just trying to give you um, some tips to help minimize the pain. Um, but yes, be active. If you can't be active and you just have to stay in bed, you have to stay in bed. Stay in bed. Breathe. Take a break. Like I said, watch your favorite show. Find something to binge watch. Binge watching is literally my favorite thing to do. It's literally... Um, my other way to bring happiness into my life like if it's not snacking going chocolate um chocolate and binge watching is the keys to successfully living happy in your room <laughs> like really i have all the snacks that i need like i'm looking at them right now and i'm not the thing about me is i can buy hella snacks and i don't eat them all in one sitting you know what i'm saying i it's just all about self-discipline. If you don't have no self-discipline, then you need to practice self-discipline because you don't need to be eating all this sugar in one sitting. It's not good for you. Now, I, I know I say you can do whatever you want. I know I do whatever I want, but I also have self-discipline. So if I'm going to eat a whole bag of turtles today, I'm not eating no turtles tomorrow or probably for the rest of the week, <laughs> but I might. So, um, yeah, binge watch eat whatever you want um some other things that really helped is i stopped using regular pads and regular panty liners um so let me show y'all i don't have no organic panty liners right now so I actually i need to go get some this is a regular panty liner um you you want me to tell you what it is or I'm gonna just go ahead and tell you because you might not know and that's all right panty liners um you just wear them to help with your discharge so you're not ruining your um underwear um if you ruin your underwear it is what it is throw them away it's okay no big deal we all we all bleed through we all have discharge it is what it is wear your panty liners boo so you don't be ruining all your underwears because underwears is expensive okay um so but those are not organic um panty liners those are just regular panty liners but i do use these pads i get at my i still got a whole case filled of them this is what they look like just a regular painting a regular pad this is a pad um love them i I came across organic, um, organic pads, and I'm gonna be completely transparent with you guys. I came about organic pads probably six months ago. I was taking a world, um, a women's world class or something like that, and I was learning about um, women's suffrage all across the world, and I was just really 
you know, like being taught some things I did not know, you know. And so they mentioned about um, pets and just how they were made and like problems with it or whatever. So I was just like, what? And so then I, and prior to that class, I did used to hear about like pets causing um, rashes and stuff like that. But I never really... I never really thought about it too much because it didn't happen to me. But then I did, um, I did one time get a, did get a rash from rearing regular pets, and I was like, oh wow, it makes so much sense. So six months ago, I came across these pets right here. Immediately, oh okay, cause you did not have to hit me in my head like that. Okay, I got these pets. And immediately I read the back and obviously I'm attracted because I just love this image. It's just, you know, versatility is what I get from this image. Just because you got a fro, you got some loose curls, you got straight hair, you got it all. So I said, oh, I'm buying these, baby. These is like $6.99 at Target. Um, and I mess with them. I mess with them. I'm trying to tell y'all. Organic pads and tampons, whatever you use, um, organic is the way. Because this, for me, I'm going to just be honest with you. For me, these make my periods a lighter, it feels like, to me. That's what, I, that's what I think. That's what I think. You don't get to tell me what I think. You don't get to tell me about my experience. This is what I think. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not selling fake news. This is real. When I use these, it feels so much lighter. Um, I don't got to worry about no chemicals, nothing thrown on my pH balance, boo, because them chemicals and them other pads and tampons is not good for you. Okay. That's why you probably getting a yeast infection. That's probably why you got them rashes down there because of them chemicals and pesticides and all that, that they be putting in that stuff. That don't, your girl don't want that on her. She's telling you she don't want that. So stop using them these these last you like two three four months you won't i only have to buy pads like one or two times out the year hello use them and i'm not gonna lie to you my period i typically i don't know if this is too raw for y'all but we need to be we need to be we need to be bold we need to be honest about these periods everybody know we bleed we do it is what it is you're not about to sit here and be ashamed and embarrassed you don't need to be ashamed and embarrassed about having a period let's talk about it because it's it it, it happens it happens just because we don't talk about it don't mean it's gonna go away we have periods and it's important that we are educated about our periods if we're not educated we just gonna be dumb no our young girls is looking up to us they need help so we're gonna tell them about what's up okay i believe before i start using these past i used to bleed heavy and it used to be everywhere i'm saying everywhere so these is the hookup i'm saying i check another tip make sure you're changing your pads and tampons um two three times a day depends on how heavy your flow is i'm not sure for you but for me i have to change my pads two three times out the day um, two times is sufficient. Three times is a bit much. But if it's hot, if it's hot and you active, baby, change as much as you need to. All right? Do what you got to do. Do what works for you, okay? Me changing two times out the day is pretty fine for me. Um, and that helps. These really help catch. It keep me secure. So I really like these. Um, I love them really great purchase um the money goes to women um let me make sure i read it. yep every l purchase supports women as agents of change learn about this um these are free of chlorine bleaching um i i, I just love this because the packaging is so simple but so cute and it's just like i love these pads um Oh, let me read, because again, I was in my women's class and it was teaching me about women's suffrage across the world and what women got to go through in it. it Y'all, please learn about women. Please learn about women in other countries and try to help and bring change because, ooh, we go through so much. But these, and I, when I first seen the front, I was like, ooh, but then when I turned it around and I started reading, I said, okay, let me just read y'all what it said. We believe that periods should only, should only end sentences, period. 
not education and opportunity. In many countries around the world, girls miss school due to a lack of access to period products. Yes, I learned this in my class. For every L pad you purchase, L helps provide access to pads to girls who need them. By supporting organizations in, and female entrepreneurs who make and donate pads to their communities, we strengthen the power of women's collective action for lasting change. Because it's not just what you give, it's how you give. And that's just that. You got my money. You got my money and you gonna keep getting my money. Y'all. Yeah. Girls in other countries lack pads. They lack panty liners. They lack the education about periods. They don't know. They don't have the privileges we have in other countries. So, y'all, just learn. Just learn. Please learn. Donate. Um, support. Buy organic. Buy pit. Buy from organizations that has a legit cause that is really doing something to make to bring change to this world okay we, this ain't history class so all right so yeah these pads 6.99 at target boo um they last and they're great another tip when you in bed put a towel down i um i either use this because this is so soft and it's just it's one of my favorite rows, but it also keep me warm. But you want to make sure you lay a towel down. My bed's so cute. That's why I'm looking. Lay a towel down for when you're sleeping because we do flow when we're sleeping. And it will fall to the back and get to the back of the undies. And it may get onto your sheets and stuff like that. So make sure you just put a towel down and sleep. Sleep. Okay? Um, For me, um, my week week before my period i'm sweating in my sleep i'm unable to get to sleep um, i'm not comfortable in my sleep and even like the week of my period it's the same kind of thing but my sweats kind of go away but my irritability is still there but baby i'd be irritated without a period so you just gotta learn your body and you gotta just have some control all right when i know that my period is coming i try to avoid pointless interactions um you gonna have to talk to people you gonna have to engage with other people when you don't feel like it so you just got to be able to do so um not gonna lie to you i intentionally try to avoid people that i know that gets on my nerves when i'm not on my period so please try to do that so you're not up cussing people out and just letting them have it because baby uh we don't want to be cussing people out at all times and we are rational beings us women we are not we don't have we don't lack control we know how to control our feelings and what we're going through as you know so don't be trying to play us like this time of the month is just horrible for us no baby we have self-control over here so don't don't play you can get cussed out though oh okay so what else i want to touch on oh the mental the mental state of course excuse me i'm a little congested baby my nerves be so bad but like i said just breathe uh pick and choose who you want to interact with uh take your time like during this like don't nobody ain't nobody obligated to your time girl spend time by yourself if you don't want to talk to nobody you ain't got to don't talk to nobody just and let but communicate that to people listen right now i don't want to talk right now i'm not in the mood to want to talk to you so i'm just gonna hit you up later or just be transparent and forthcoming with people if people are going to take offense with you being honest then they're really not for you to be honest people that understands and supports you are going to feel you and they're not going to try to take offense to what you're going through so yeah just be forthcoming and tell people i don't want to talk right now i'm on my period my nerves bad right now and that's just that <laughs> take days off if you at work and you just now if you can if you can take a day off take a day off but if you can't um take some time now maybe go to your doctor and tell your doctor doctor my time the month is awful can you write me a letter or a note to excuse me from work or school because this right now i can't do and that should 
that should make a difference. Doctors know periods ain't easy. Unless he a man, but he should know. You know, you a doctor. Um, what else? Long showers, long warm showers really help. But I take long warm showers all the time. Um, long warm showers are essential for self care, self love. Oh my gosh. Um, but take some long showers and just breathe. Enjoy that water. Just that breathing really gets you. So meditate, yoga. Um, ooh. When you just focus in on everything else other than the pain, I promise you, it'll take you far. Um, doing stuff that you want to do at all times, this helps with your mental health. Go out, go shopping, go buy something that you've been wanting to buy. Um, try something new. That helps with your, with your mental health. That helps take the focus off the pain you may be going through or whatever. Um, therapy, go to therapy. Me, before we went through a pandemic, going through a pandemic, I would go to therapy. I would literally schedule my appointments a week before my period um, because just to have someone to talk to and just, um, I don't know, it's just, it, it feels good being vocal. It feels good expressing how you feel, what you're going through. And you don't even got to go to a therapist, but I do suggest going to a therapist just to have somebody neutral that's always going to be in your corner. But talk out loud. Talk to yourself. When you talking and you bring voice to your thoughts, I just feel like it helps you be more rational. It helps you just make right de decisions and choices. So please just talk. You're not crazy for talking to yourself. I mean, I just seen a post yesterday and said, why wouldn't I consult the realest person I know? Because it's like, I'm the realest person I know. So why wouldn't I talk to myself? Talk to yourself. My other videos, y'all know I told y'all, I'll be, i pull up. I'm in my car talking to myself. And it's not even just myself. I'll be talking to God too. And I'll be telling God, all right, God, because I'm being tried right now. And so, yeah. Um, But really just knowing how your body operates during this time so you can come up with ways to help your body so you're not suffering because girl when you just don't know you don't know and if it wasn't for me sitting myself down and being like okay at this time of the month every month i go through this i feel this way okay i need to come up with some routines that's gonna help me um go through this easier okay during this time i really depend strongly heavily on god like i depend on god so much and i'm sorry I, I i mentioned god a lot but like i said i'm not here to alter your belief i'm not here to do nothing but i'm here to tell you my story because my story could probably help you and it would be foolish of me to know something and not share with you so during this time, like I said last month, I told God, when I am going through this time, when my body is under this distress, God, you see that the devil really tries me. The devil, I'm trying to tell y'all, when before I sat myself down, my thoughts were so irrational. My patience was so ridiculous. My anger was out of control. I was unable to just think. I was unable to talk. Like, I really would just be mad miserable and silent i try not to be um ang angry i try not to, you know i'm not a violent person or whatever i've had incidents where i'll punch something or something like that <laughs> you know it's funny because it's just funny but i try to keep control of my anger because i know anger can take you to a place where you just can't come back from okay i don't want to be breaking hitting people in the jaw taking people's lives away none of that so um i just be quiet and i just be like oh all right so really talk to god during this time and just oh that's what i do i'm trying to tell you i'm not making this up i talk to god and i tell god god i really can't do this i need your strength i need your guidance so i need you to do something quick asap in a hurry because right now i'm not in the mood and i'm about to knock billy jean's head off so please give me the strength because my stomach hurts <laughs> and I'm trying 
I'm trying to tell you, he show up. He show up at all times, all the time. So during this time and any time in your life, just let God guide you. Trust God. Put a smile on your face, even when you don't want to, because I try to tell you, when I fake a smile, when I fake a smile, it don't feel fake to me because it's just like I'm, st I'm choosing to smile and just be nice rather than being mean and nasty. So that's just that. Um, what else? Um, did I touch on everything? Y'all know I can go all and all, on and on and on and on about mental health or whatever, but just do things that's going to boost your mental health. Y'all don't want this time to be depressing. It, like I said, this time is inevitable. Like it's going to happen unless you don't have periods, unless you got a procedure done that prevents you from having periods, unless you hit menopause, 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 it's menopause because it's M-E-N-O, menopause, <laughs> But yeah, even then, we still go, we go through changes, girl. Our body go through changes. Um, Some other tips, like I said, what's some other tips? I think I didn't told y'all everything that I do. Reorganize your room. You don't just got to do this when you on your period. Do this, period. I'm all about trying to boost your mental health. So reorganize your room, decorate. Yesterday, I went and bought me two new plants. I'm into plants now. Love them um my air in my room just feels so much better so that's really why i started getting plants because i'm into holistic healing and just natural healing that's what you know but i'm just into um into just doing things that i always wanted to do so i went and bought new plants yesterday um jade and i haven't named the other one just yet oh you guys haven't met my plants i got journey too and i got aloha um yeah I got one, two, three, four, five. I got five plants. Um, and right now I'm trying to reorganize my room. So my room, because my room is my sanctuary. And that's another thing that really helps with your mental health. Build your room the way you want it to be. When you walk in your room, everything else should melt away. Because you have walked into your room and this is, peace is here. Happiness is here. Joy is here. Patience is here. And that's what my room is for me. When I walk into my room, I don't bring no mess up in here. Don't even come in here if you're being messy. In here, we're rational. In here, we're patient. In here, we're happy. In here, we're quiet. All right? It ain't all that hurrah, hurrah in here. Be quiet when you come in my room. Only I can talk. Bye. But your room should really just be your sanctuary where you come and this is where I come and I have a lot of my talks with myself and with God. And I just think more when I think better when I'm in my room. So build your room however you want. Do whatever you want. All right. Don't do nothing bad though. Okay. What's some other tips? Um, I think that's just that. I think that's it, y'all. How long we been here? 37 minutes? Um, Yeah, that's it. I'm trying to look around to make sure I didn't miss nothing. Um, while I'm watching this video, I'm going to probably come up with some other things to put into the description box. So make sure you read that. Um, if you have any questions, anything, always, you can reach out and ask me. Um, I'm trying to minimize my videos. My videos are going to be long because I can talk, I can flow, I can do it all day. This is what I'm going to school for. So um, I can do this. But I don't want to have y'all here watching me all day for a long amount of time because then you're going to become obsessed with me and I don't want you doing that. <laughs> now I'm just playing y'all. But um, hold on, I'm parched. Water just then flew on my arm. Make sure y'all drinking y'all water. You don't got to drink a big thing like this, but um, drink the amount of water you're supposed to drink. Eight to nine glasses. Is it how much you're supposed to drink? Or um, I think you're supposed to drink like two liters a day if you're a woman or something like that. I read so much about like water. I've read like if you weigh 150, you should drink 50% of your body weight of wa in water or something like that. I read so much and just be okay so yes get out go for a walk do whatever makes you happy do what makes you happy so you can be happy so you can get through bad days pray trust god go for a walk do some yoga um eat 
excuse me, gain some weight, do whatever you want. This is your world. You do what you want. Um, talk to girls, talk to other girls, other girls' stories about their periods can really help you too and encourage you. And just having a sisterhood, sisterhood is so important to me. That's why every girl I try to just rock with because we all are women and we need to stick together because if we against each other, who going to be for us? We have to stick together. Okay. Stick together. Sisterhood. Girl code. So that's all y'all got for me. Go shopping. Go walk around. Window shop. You ain't got to buy none, but just window shop. Get out. Enjoy nature. Yeah, we in a pandemic, but still, you can go outside, wear your mask. Make sure y'all wearing y'all mask, because, ooh, baby, this is beyond me seeing some of y'all without some mask on now. Why you ain't wearing a mask? You want to get sick? Oh, because I thought you wanted to get sick because you ain't got no mask on. Why you ain't? Now, if you forgot your mask, I, mask, I understand. But turn around and go get it. Don't just walk in the store. Mask off. Mask off. No, you need to go back home and get your mask. So you can come back. Wear your mask, please. <laughs> okay. So, yes, any questions, please let me know. I'm always here to talk. I'm always here for you. Anytime that you just need to vent, I'm here, girl. I'm here, girl. We are a team, and that's just that. Um, but that's just it, y'all. Like I said, read the description box because I might come up with some other thoughts that I'll be thinking. When I get in front of this camera, y'all, I'll be forgetting some stuff, and I'm still learning to get used to it and comfortable with just getting on here and sharing because I am actually really shy. Like, <laughs> I am, but once I get comfortable, I'm comfortable, sis. I get to tell you anything you want to know. Not anything... Because I know how to hold secrets now. You ain't getting all that from me. I'm telling you what I know. And what I think you should know. But I ain't telling you everything. Mm -mm. I wasn't raised to run my mouth like a waterfall. No, ma'am. That is not cute. Learn how to shut up. Okay, so yes, y'all. That's it for me. Like I said, read the description box. I might share some other stuff. Um, you have me, you have my support. Thank you guys for supporting me, subscribing to me. I love you guys so much. Have a great, safe day. Stay safe and healthy. Be kind. Protect your family. Protect yourself. Um, do whatever you want. Help somebody else. Love somebody else. And that's just that. Bye.